after the Saul Alvarez versus Miguel Cotto negotiations fell apart, I initially thought that Miguel Cotto would sign to fight a rematch against Floyd Mayweather Jr. And that's what it looked like. A lot of signs were pointing to it. Oscar De La Hoya, president of Golden Boy Promotions, even said that, yes, he had a feeling that fight was going to happen. And he had heard the rumors of Team Mayweather and Team Cotto being in negotiations. That was not the case because Floyd Mayweather Jr. signed to fight Manny Pacquiao for May 2nd. Oscar De La Hoya signed Saul Alvarez to fight James Kirkland now on May 9th. But where does this leave Miguel Cotto? He himself has said that he wants to fight on the weekend of the Puerto Rican Day Parade in New York City. Who will he fight? According to his co-promoter, Bob Arum, who actually co-promoted him, I believe, for his last two bouts, there are three names that he, is, he has given and presented to Team Miguel Cotto. The first being Cornelius K-9 Bunrig, who, by the way, doesn't fight at middleweight. He fights at Super Welterweight and he's the IBF World Super Welterweight Champion. The second name given to him was is Brandon Bam Bam Rios. Again, Rios does not fight at middleweight. His last fight against Mike Alvarado was for the vacant WBO international welterweight title. So that would mean that Rios would have to go up two weight divisions to fight the champion, Miguel Cotto. Third name, Timothy Bradley. Again, a guy who does not fight at Miguel Cotto's weight division. He himself would also have to jump two weight divisions to fight Miguel Cotto. It would be the first time he fought there. It would be the first time for all three guys to ever fight in that division. So why are they, why is top rank throwing out these names, which are good names, but guys that have never fought in the middleweight division? And I know what a lot of people will say. Brandon Reels blows up during training camps. Tim Bradley blows up during training camps. They blow up, but they don't fight at that weight. The champion at that weight that he can fight is Gennady Golovkin. Now, does that mean that Miguel Cotto is ducking Gennady Golovkin? Uh, it could be. It could be, but I've never thought of Miguel Cotto as a ducker. He's fought, fought some of the best names while he was in the prime of his career. He fought Zab Judah, Paulie Malignaggi. He won a war with Ricardo Torres, Joshua Clotty, Manny Pacquiao, Ricardo Mayorga, Antonio Margarito, Floyd Mayweather. He's fought all the names, Sergio Martinez. But I think now he knows he's not in his prime anymore. And perhaps him and Freddie Roach have sat down and spoke about picking and choosing their opponents. Do I think the fight with Gennady Golovkin will ever happen? I don't know. It might happen at the beginning of next year. He's going to have to make those fights where, he, where it's almost sure that he can win by pulling guys up from weight, from different weight classes that are lower than his to get a win and perhaps leverage himself into a fight where he has more of an advantage against a Saul Alvarez, a Gennady Golovkin, where he can say, hey, I've won my last... I've won my last three fights. I haven't lost since 2013. Maybe the split is uneven. Maybe I should be getting more of the money because I'm the more recognizable name with a championship and a better legacy than yours. I don't know. I don't know. But like I said, if he fights any of these guys, they're moving up in weight. 